My name is Tagore. It is Bindranath Tagore. I am one of the offsprings of Devendranath Tagore. I feel that all of you might have heard about me. If you ask about me, you may be answering that I am the writer of Gitanjali. I was a poet. I was a short, short story teller. I was an artist, etc., etc. But how many of you know that I was an educationist too? I had my own educational concepts and ideas. I stopped formal education when I was an early teenager because I was fed up with the traditional by hearting way of learning. Still I became a world famous writer later in my life. I became an educationist too. I established Shandini Kajan, converting the ashram of my own father into an educational institution. It was a school. Later it was converted into an international university called Vishwabharata. Later it was converted to a world Later, it was converted to a world-famous international university called Vishwabharati. I frankly tell that though I was an Indian with some traditional concepts and values, I have always been regarded as one of the educationists who have contributed to modern child-centered education because he had thought that toys and such things would be useless for his children because we use it or we use them just for time passing. Instead of such things, he always offered us uh, some instruments by which we could improve our intelligence and defense skills and he was very open to us and in my educational concepts I have always put forth the concept of complete freedom to be given to students and this is considered as one of my greatest contributions to modern child-centered education. 
actually they should be natural and progressive development in each child now for this you have to give complete freedom to your children only when they get complete freedom they can select their own time and methods for learning different items so i always advocated for complete freedom for children and another contribution which people tell that i offered to modern child centered education is my psychological approach i have written a number of stories and if you read my short stories you can see elements of modern psychology in all my stories i have written a story titled homecoming it's a story of a 14 year old child called fatik chakravarti in that story i was explaining the dilemma of a 14 year old child that is an adolescent child i was conveying that a 14 year old child or an adolescent child always wants for always wants for or always uh desires for unconditional love and affection plus recognition and this is something important and this is uh one characteristic of modern child centered education actually in say the classroom instead of lecture method used by the teacher there should be opportunity for students you should give them love and affection or you should or uh, encourage them to come forward to the center of the classroom for that you have to provide unconditional love and affection and similarly each and every teenager or adolescent child desires to be recognized among others so you should give opportunity for that they are eager to be known among others they are eager to be famous among others also the teacher should be able to find out the talents of different students and then allow them to show their talents so that to be recognized among others so this also i mean my psychological approach towards education is uh, considered as one of my contributions to the modern child centered education as i told earlier i stopped my formal education during my early childhood days because of the distaste i had towards the rote memorization technique of traditional formal educational system and still i was able to write some literary works during my teenage days itself actually i was fortunate to live 
the location where natural scenes and beauty were there. I often wanted or I often walked by these natural scenes and it created some love towards nature in me so one of my concept on education was that educational institutions should create contact between the students and nature it would be giving some mental relaxation and some aesthetic sense in our students and this also is regarded one of my greatest contributions to modern child-centered education another contribution which people tell that I offer to modern child-centered education is my concept of enrichment of creativity. In my view, one of the most important aims of education should be enrichment of creativity in our students. And for the enrichment of creativity, you have to give up a rote memorization technique or the traditional theoretical methods inside the class. You have to give opportunities for your students to write, to read and write more and more. And this is important. So, because of my ideas, the ideas I have shared here, people believe that or people consider me among those educationists who have contributed much to modern child centered education. I try to implement all these ideas in my Shantini Ketan. A school I started. And later it was converted into a university as I told, called Vishwabharati University. And in my educational institution, I acted as a teacher, a parent, and also as a counsellor. I used to give counselling to children and their parents. I always gave freedom to my students. 